This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. To convert TrueType fonts in Omega, click Start, Programs, GSP Omega, TT Font Converter. The TrueType to GSP Font Converter dialog box will open. Click the font to be converted from the installed fonts list. For this example, select Arial Bold 0. Click Convert to open the Define Font Height Line dialog box. You should not have to change the default settings. Click OK to return to the True Type Converter dialog box and begin conversion. When the font is converted, the name is added to the installed fonts list. Insert the Omega Font and Library CD. Right click the GSP Tray icon and select Font Manager. The Gerber Font Manager dialog box will open. In Font Manager, you can view installed or uninstalled Gerber fonts by clicking on the font name in either list or right clicking the selected font and choosing View Font. You can see what the font will look like in either filled or wireframe view by clicking on the view menu in the pop-up window. Simply enlarge the window using the cursor to magnify the text. To save the pop-up window, click the thumbtack button on the pop-up title bar. When choosing another font to view, it displays a new pop-up window. You can thumbtack multiple fonts for easy comparison. To enter specific characters in Font Manager, click Options to open the Font Manager Viewer Options dialog box. Enter the characters to display in the Viewed Text box. Check Wireframe or Filled to select how the text will display in the pop-up window. Turn on Auto View when the font is selected to automatically display the font set when choosing a font from the list. Click OK to return to the Gerber Font Manager window. To install a URL font, make sure the font CD is installed in your disk drive. In Font Manager, select a font from the uninstalled fonts list. For this example, select American Anshul D. Click Install, Purchase. The font is added to the list of installed fonts. Now open Composer. You must restart Composer to have the changes made in Font Manager take effect. If Composer is already open, close the program, then open it again. Select the Enter Edit Text tool on the Text Toolbar. Click on the Work Surface to open the Enter Edit Text dialog box. Click F3 Font and select the font Arial Bold. Click F11 Change when you are finished. Click F2 and enter 4 inches for the height. Enter the text Fruitcake, then press Enter to go to the next line. Click F2 and enter a new height of 3. Click F8 and enter 3.75 in line spacing. Enter the text by Fred. Click F11 Composer to return to the work surface. Using the Enter Edit Text tool, click the work surface above the text Fruitcakes. Click F3 Font and select the font Brush Script CT. Enter a text height of 1.25 and enter the text for all your friends at Christmas. Click F11 Composer to return to the work surface. Note where all the text is not connected. Smart edit the text for all your friends at Christmas to re-enter the Enter Edit Text dialog box. Place parentheses around the open segments in the text. Click F11 Composer to return to the work surface. Check that all the open characters are now closed. Now select the text Fruitcakes with the Selection tool. Click Tools Outline. Turn on points for the corner type and enter 1 as the number of outlines. Enter point 1 for the outline distance. Turn on Hide Originals then click OK. Select the text by Fred. Click Shape Absolute Size. Turn on Non-Uniform and click Center. Enter 23 in the length but do not change the height value, then click OK. Click the Toes tool, select Times Bold from the font list and enter 1.5 for the text height. Click on the work surface and type It's the perfect gift in quotation marks. Notice that the closing quotation mark at the end of the text is upside down. Smart edit the text and delete the closing quotation mark. Click F3 font and select the font Times Bold, then click F9 View Font. Scroll down until you find the closing quotation character. Click on the character. Click Edit, Copy. 
Close the font view window and click Escape Cancel to return to the Enter Edit Text dialog box. With the cursor after the exclamation point, click Control V. An X is inserted which represents the closed quotation mark. Click F11 Composer to return to the work surface. Note that the closing quotation mark is now correct. Now, arrange each line of the text closer together. Select each line of text one at a time and make sure that the letters in each line are grouped together by clicking Arrange Group. Click Select All. Click Arrange Justify and select Horizontal Center, then click OK. When you are finished, save the file as fred.plt in the My Lessons folder. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.